What is up guys, here and us, your boy Kagi back at it again with a new video this time around week 3 of the Solo World Cup. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get it baby. Where's Club? Alright guys, let's jump right into it. This is game 1 of the Solo World Cup week 3. I landed at the factories right here. Alright, let's jump right into the circle where I died. I was rotating in through the back of paradise. I'm thinking there's nobody in the back. Look at the circle, boom, and I get sniped. I had pretty good mats, I had trash loot, but that's not what got me killed. What got me killed was a major mistake of not covering my walls. So this is game two of the Solo World Cup week three, and I land at the Lazy Lagoon. Interesting, because I didn't see anybody jump in here um, in front of me. So I don't know where this guy came from, but I got the kill there. I got an early kill. This video is brought to you by Brave, the fastest, the safest, and the most private browser in the market. You can block ads, you can support your favorite creator, and you can earn money by using it. You can try it right now with the link in my description. As I was rotating into a new circle right here, I catch another kill, another early kill. So that's that, that will make it two points on, on kills, so that's pretty good. I make a major mistake right here. I try to fly in into the circle in a really weird spot and I got laser. I obviously got laser. I can't even be mad about that. You know, I got double team there and it was just a bad decision. Right here I land that Lazy Lagoon again. Lazy Lagoon was pretty good to me uh, the previous game. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do Lazy Lagoon again. I hear a guy around here. Not right off the bat from landing, but no, I already had a an AR, I had a shotgun, so I felt pretty comfortable, I had many, so I was like, you know what, I'm challenging this guy. What could he have that is better than me? You know? Boom, and I get the kill right there, so I get an early point. I got to late game with no mats, I'm basically no mats right here. I was just looking pretty bad. I have one kill, not bad. Right here, I get another kill, boom. Get this other kill bot right there didn't gain much mats from him another thing that made me waste a lot of mats was that guy in the metal right in front of me right there the guy was just pounding me he would open and nobody would shoot him right here i'm rotating to the next circle i see this guy peeking but i'm like you know what i'm committed to killing this guy then i'm going up right here i put a wall by mistake boom this guy shoots me from the left i get unfortunately i get double team I don't know how the fuck he got up through my build and he just pounded me. This is game four. I opted for a really safe landing. Not a lot of people go to snobby, so. Alright, so this is pretty advanced. Um, I decided to rotate through the right side of this mountain. It was the worst decision. There was like a fight. There's a bunch of people there. There was a fight going on. Um, I should have boxed myself in right here. I dropped. I should have not dropped there. I should have kept going and having the high ground there. Um, right here, I go into somebody's builds. I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe this guy already died. You know, like all these builds and shit. And then I, I start taking out builds, but that build right there, boom! I, I just, I didn't take it out. And one of those guys that was fighting, that was his build, and that was kind of confusing to me. So I got fucked. So right here I decided to go to Tilt to kind of throw away this game. There's like a few games that you want to throw away depending on the time. Um, and it's good to throw away games in the middle of the tournament. Because when you get to the end of the tournament, the last few games, everybody's just trying to get kills and trying to get points. So they risk everything. So you get top 25, top 15 easier than at the beginning of the tournament. At the beginning of the tournament, everybody's playing safe and shit like that, right? But at the end, everybody's just pushing, trying to get points. All right, so this is game six. I landed pretty comfortable at this location. No challenge from the beginning, so pretty good. So I decided to go on the top of this mountain. And I saw somebody fighting. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to see if I can get a pick here real quick. And this maniac basically rifted and fucking pushed the shit out of me. I'm like, yo, this guy has to be like some crazy motherfucker. I'm just going to fight him. That was a mistake number one right here. I should have not risked my life with everything that I had. The good loot, good mats, good everything. I felt like this guy was cheating, honestly. He had seven kills so early. And he just came to me like he he knew he was going to 
like he knew he was gonna kill me you know um i felt like he was cheating i don't have any proof i'm just saying it, it was just a feeling maybe like aimbot or some shit i don't know so this is game seven i liked how the last game went in terms of landing and loot so i landed in the same spot so i get a map and i decide to go for it off the circle i think it was worth it and it actually ends up being worth it so so this skill I get right here, um, it's pretty good. It's one of the best skills I had in the tournament in the three weeks. Just the way I did this skill. The way I, little by little, just took away this guy's health. And I was patient about it. I never pushed him. This is the kind of playstyle that I like to play, right? He never fucking saw me. Like, he never saw it coming. I was just like pounding him little by little. And although he had shield over and over, I would like, you know, he was wasting his resources. Not only mats, he was also wasting shields. So that this, that's the type of way, this is the type of way you want to like get kills. Not necessarily just pushing all the time, you know. I am definitely getting better, definitely getting better. I'm pretty comfortable with how I went this tournament i could have done way better but still you know i'm, I'm learning uh if you see week one video which is on my youtube you can guys go see it and it's pretty trash compared to what i did in this one this is way better i got five points this one i ended up with i think 22 my end games are looking better my edits are looking better my decision making is looking better i'm just playing better overall in, in only three weeks it's just a matter of of training and wanting to get better. You know? If you can see, my builds are better. My edits right here, boom, my edit quicker. It's not super quick, but it's better than week one. So I see improvement. And that's the important thing here. Improve, improve, improve. All right, so let's jump into game eight. I'm just gonna go straight into the end game right here. Alright, so I settled myself for the next circle, right here. And then some guy that was next to me, he pushes my walls. I, I didn't expect that, man. I, I, didn't, I really didn't expect that. That was a bad thought process for me. I should have expected that, right? Get out of my ball and... Or just leave. I could have just gone into the storm, go out and gone around. I could have done so many things. But that's one of the things I gotta work on. Close combat. Taking over walls and editing and killing person, people, right? Um, that's something I really have to work on. And I actually have it written down, the things I have to work on. Jump into game 9. Game 9, I'm looking pretty good. I'm in end game. Um, I am exactly where I want to be. I played it fucking amazing. This was one of those good games that I had. So I'm looking better. I'm looking better right here. I pumped that guy right in the motherfucking face. My builds are looking better, smoother, quicker. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm at right now. Compared to where I was week one. Right here I get another kill. Gotta work on my edits right there. Major mistake for me. I jumped into that guy thinking maybe this guy's hurt. It was a mistake. Bad decision. But still, I still... In my in my books, I killed him. Boom! My shot didn't register. Boom! It register there. Fuck! Those two shots, you know, they would have been, they would have been, they would have killed him. It didn't register, but I mean, I can't blame it on that. I didn't even know until like after the game that I noticed. It was just bad decision from the beginning. But that sh that would have been a kill. That would have been a kill. All right, so let's jump into game ten. This is uh, the first circle, and this guy's just waiting for me right here. And I just decided, you know what, bro, fuck this guy. Um, I'm just gonna fucking die to the storm. If I, if I can't get the kill, I'm dying to the storm. He's not getting the kill. Which is pretty unfortunate, honestly, because if I had a good game, this game 10, I would have I would have classified for sure. A good game would have classified me. I had 22 points. I think I needed like 36. You know, a good game, a 10, 12, 13 kill game end game would have would have classified me and i i, I believed but this guy I, I wasn't willing to give this guy the kill so i was like fuck it dude thank you everybody for watching week by week my improvements i appreciate it so much don't forget to comment like and subscribe on my video i'll see you guys next time